Somewhere, a rocket is being built that could change everything we know about the universe. Engines roar in testing facilities, satellites hum in clean rooms, and deep space antennas are being tuned for missions that will redefine the edge of human knowledge. The year is 2025, and space exploration is about to have one of its most ambitious years in decades. Let's begin our journey with the most anticipated voyage of them all, NASA's Artemis II. After more than half a century since humans last left low Earth orbit, four astronauts are preparing to fly around the moon, not to land, but to circle it, testing systems that will one day carry humanity back to the lunar surface. Their spacecraft, Orion, will travel farther than any crewed spacecraft since Apollo 17 in 1972. Imagine it, Earth shrinking to a glowing marble behind them, the moon's pale horizon growing ahead. This mission isn't just symbolic. It's a shakedown test for the next great leap. Every gauge, every heartbeat, every maneuver will pave the way for Artemis III, the mission that finally lands humans on the moon once again. But NASA isn't alone out there anymore. 2025 is the year when private space companies stop being just partners and start becoming explorers in their own right. SpaceX, the juggernaut of modern rocketry, plans to launch the first Starship orbital refueling tests, an essential step toward making Mars travel possible. Refueling in orbit sounds simple, but it's never been done before. Think of it as trying to pour gasoline into another car, while both are speeding side by side on a racetrack at 17,000 miles per hour. If they succeed, Starship could carry enough fuel to go beyond the moon, to Mars, and maybe further. If they fail, it's back to the drawing board. Either way, the world will be watching. Meanwhile, halfway across the planet, China is writing its own chapter in the story of space. Their Chang'e 6 mission aims to do something no nation has ever achieved. Bring back samples from the far side of the moon. That mysterious hemisphere, always turned away from Earth, has never been explored in such detail. The rocks there might tell us secrets about how the moon formed, or even about the early days of our own planet. China's robotic lander will touch down in the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the oldest impact sites in the solar system, scoop up lunar soil, and send it home through a relay satellite orbiting the moon. It's like sending a drone to the dark side of a mountain and having it toss you a handful of treasure. But our gaze won't stay confined to the moon. In 2025, we're setting our sights on the asteroids, the primordial leftovers of the solar system. NASA's Psyche mission, now well underway, will reach its target, a metal-rich asteroid that might be the exposed core of an ancient protoplanet. Think of it as looking directly at the bones of a failed world. Made largely of nickel and iron, Psyche could reveal how planets like Earth formed their dense metallic hearts. And in a twist that sounds like science fiction, the total value of metals inside Psyche if they were ever mined, has been estimated in the quadrillions of dollars. Not that NASA is mining it, of course, but the idea that the ingredients for a trillion economies might just be drifting through space is enough to make anyone pause. Back on Earth, Europe is preparing to reach deeper into our solar system than ever before. The JUICE mission, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, will be making its long cruise toward Jupiter's frozen satellites. In 2025, it's expected to enter its cruise phase in full swing, fine-tuning instruments and preparing for its grand arrival. Its focus? Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. Moons that may conceal oceans beneath their crusts. Scientists believe these hidden oceans could harbor conditions suitable for life. Imagine that. Not on distant exoplanets light years away, but orbiting right here in our own solar system. Under those icy shells might exist ecosystems powered by chemistry, not sunlight. Alien worlds, dark and alive. Speaking of distant worlds, 2025 will also be the year humanity takes one of its boldest steps in the search for life beyond our solar system. 
The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, often called the Hubble's Air, is nearing its final integration. Once launched, it will scan the Milky Way for exoplanets using a technique called microlensing, detecting the faint gravitational tug of unseen worlds as they pass in front of distant stars. It will be able to find planets that Hubble and even the James Webb Space Telescope can't see. Lonely, frozen wanderers drifting between stars, untethered to any sun. Somewhere among them could be a world like Earth, waiting to be found. But not all the drama of 2025 will happen far from home. The International Space Station, now in its twilight years, will host a series of final science milestones before commercial space stations take over. Private companies like Axiom Space are planning to attach their first commercial modules, the beginning of a transition from government-run laboratories to privately owned habitats in orbit. This marks the start of a new era, one where low Earth orbit becomes open for business, tourism, manufacturing, and research, while agencies like NASA push outward to the Moon and Mars. For the first time, humanity's expansion beyond Earth will truly begin to look permanent. And then there's Mars. Although no new landers are set to launch in 2025, the Mars Sample Return Program will be in one of its most crucial phases. Engineers will be testing and assembling the systems designed to retrieve samples collected by the Perseverance rover. Those tiny tubes of Martian soil resting on the red sands of Jezero Crater are waiting for their ride home possibly the most precious cargo ever collected. If all goes well, the retrieval missions launching later this decade will mark the first time material from another planet returns to Earth. The implications? Immense. We may finally learn whether Mars ever hosted life, and what that means for us. Meanwhile, new players are entering the scene. India's space agency, ISRO, riding high after the success of its Chandrayaan-3 lunar landing, is preparing for the Gaganyaan mission, its first crewed spaceflight. If successful, India will become only the fourth nation to send humans into orbit on its own. It's more than a mission. It's a statement. A declaration that space exploration no longer belongs to a few global superpowers. It's becoming the shared ambition of humanity. As the rockets roll out and countdown clocks across the world begin their slow, rhythmic tick, one can't help but feel that 2025 isn't just another year of missions. It's a year of turning points, a time when the moon becomes reachable again, when asteroids become laboratories, when private companies and nations alike stretch their reach beyond the atmosphere. And maybe that's the real story here. Not any single launch or discovery, but the collective momentum. After decades of dreaming, humanity is finally building the infrastructure, the technology, and the will to leave home for good. Each mission is a spark, lighting the next, until the sky above isn't just a frontier, it's a neighborhood. So as we watch the rockets rise this year, remember, every countdown echoes a promise made generations ago that we would not stay grounded forever. And in 2025, that promise is being kept. 